In this video, I will try to explain what 101% matches are and how they work. But first, some historical background. The feature was first introduced by Trados in version 6 of their product under the name ContextTM. The feature was mentioned on their site in April 2003. It was only available as an optional add-on, which was not even included in their already very expensive LSP packages. Soon after that, in June 2003, Deja Vu X was released and their most expensive version, Workgroup Edition, including the feature under the name Guaranteed Matches. When I say expensive, I mean several thousand euros per user, both for Trados and Deja Vu. Then, a newcomer from Hungary, Kilgray, introduced the feature under the name Context Sensitive Transition Memory in April 2007. What is worth mentioning is that the feature became available in a package freelancers could afford. MemoQ Transition Pro only cost €399 Euros at the time. Now let's look at the situation today and from the point of view of freelance translators. MemoQ has renamed the feature ContextTM. SDL, which had acquired Trados since, included 101% matches under the name Perfect Matches in SDL Trados Studio 2009 released in June of the same year. And Atril is now including the feature, still named Guaranteed Matches, in the professional edition of their new version, Deja Vu X2. I'll be demonstrating 101% matches with MemoQ Translator Pro, since I like it better than Trados and Deja Vu. I'll first create a suitable TM in MemoQ. Use context should be ticked, and it is the default. The next setting, Allow Multiple Translations, is best left unticked, which is also the default. I'll probably make another video about this setting, since many users, especially those unfortunate enough to have a Trados background, tend to tick it anyway. Here, I have a sample English document with seven segments that I wish to translate into French. I can see there are several repetitions in the document. Segment number five was auto-propagated from segment number three, but I need to change it because of gender in French. Bouton is masculine in French, click it is cliquez le, while icon is feminine, so click it is cliquez la. Although I have enabled auto propagation, I'm still able to modify the second translation without changing the first one. This is because I have set my settings to propagate only forward, not backward. Now all segments in the document have been translated and confirmed. Let's open a second document, which is very similar. I'm going to pre-translate that document, accepting only exact matches, that is, 100% matches and better. For the second segment, I have multiple 100% matches, as indicated by the small asterisk in front of the percentage. This is because the context is new, so MemoQ can't tell which of the two possible matches is the suitable one. As it happens, MemoQ inserted the correct match for this context because flesh is feminine in French, so it should indeed be cliquez la and not le. The next three segments are in context, as indicated by the 101% match. This means both the preceding segment and the following segment are the same as before. This is especially useful for segment number 5, for which there would be two different possible translations, cliquez la and cliquez le. Because the context was identical, MemoQ could insert the correct translation. Now let's export our TM as TMX and open it in Oliphant, a nice freeware TM editor. Oliphant displays all the segments I just translated in MemoQ. The source segment, click it to continue, is displayed three times, which may sound strange, since I did not allow multiple translations when creating the TM. There's even a full duplicate, where the target segment 2 is identical. Cliquez là. However, these are duplicates only if we consider just the source and target segments. But let's look under the hood by displaying other fields in Oliphant. I now choose to make the last two fields, context pre and context post, visible. We can see the two units that looked fully identical, click it to continue, click it là pour continuer, have in fact different context. Context is defined by the preceding source segment and the following source segment. Here we can see they are different. 
We can also see that the first segment in a document only has partial context. The preceding segment is missing. Likewise, the last segment in a document also has partial context. No following segment. Looking at the content of the TM when exported as TMX told us how 101% matches work. Each translation unit is stored in the TM sandwiched between its context information, that is, preceding and following segment, if both are available, or just one of them, if they were at the very beginning or at the very end of the original document. If you are aware of other translation tools that support 101% matches, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Do hit that like button down below. And also subscribe to my channel for more similar videos.